In this video, I will show you some advanced navigation within SAP GUI. Okay, this is SAP Easy Access menu. So from this menu, you can enter into any of the function if you have proper authorization for that particular function. Okay, like uh, you can open any of the function using uh, the menu tree here okay and you will also have an user menu this is the user menu so right now it is in uh, disabled mode okay because the SAP user has full authorization okay this is SAP menu and this is user menu so this particular user is not based on roles it is based on profiles okay if we have a user with role based that is if the role is attached to an user you can see the user menu by clicking on this button okay to demonstrate it I will log off from the system and log in to the system using another user which is based on role just system log off click s double click on this and enter raz username just see from here there is a user menu this is sap menu if you click on user menu so the authorizations related to this particular user will be displayed like this so these are all the functions this particular user can execute and you can also see the T codes of this by clicking on settings and selecting display technical names these are all the T codes okay and if you want to switch back to the SAP menu you can switch back to SAP menu you will have all the functions but without having proper authorization you can't access all of these functions okay so like this you can switch between user menu and SAP menu okay and now there, there are two sections called favorites and SAP menu and going to user menu here also we have favorites and user menu okay if you want to put any of the function into your favorites you can put like this so you can right click on this particular function click on add favorites so this is one way of adding the function into favorites and another way is that click on the function click on favorites and click on add so that it will be added into the favorite section okay you can also drag and drop the function into your favorites like this okay and you can delete all the favorites using delete button so before deleting what I what I will do is I will upload these favorites to my PC so that I can download into another mission wherever I require okay once you have added all these functions into your favorites wherever you log into the SAP system using the SAP GUI so you will see all these favorites in that particular screen uh, regardless of the system which you have logged on to okay so just let me show you how to upload these just click on favorites download to PC okay and uh, already I have uploaded the file just click on favorites and it is stored in my documents SAP SAP GUI with the name FV click save click yes okay so in that way you can download to your PC now I'm going to delete all these favorites by right clicking and click 
click on delete all favorites so that everything will be deleted from here okay now again if you want to download that is upload from your PC click on favorites upload from PC and click on FE click open so that all the favorites will come back again here okay so in this way you can work with favorites okay and if you want to find out the what transaction code you want to execute like if you know the transaction code or function name you can search for the navigation just I will demonstrate that particular experiment using full authorized user just system log off log into the system using full authorized user SAP user so from here there is a T code called search underscore SAP underscore menu okay hit enter and search text entry that is user creation click on continue so it's not found so select this and hit enter user click continue so just see the T code which we need it for example this is SM04 it is user overview and ST07 user distribution AL08 global users SU56 user buffer SU10 is user mass maintenance SU01 users so this is actually the navigation path within SAP menu so first you need to click on tools then administration then user maintenance okay now let us try that tools just open another session from here and just see tools just minimize the screen just drag this tools administration and user maintenance user maintenance here it is the T code so you can't execute that particular function from here directly by double clicking on it okay you need to open the function using the T code which is available here or you can enter the T code in the command field SU01 like this okay so in this way you can search for the function using the search underscore SAP underscore menu in the same way if you want to search for the function which is available in your user menu you need to enter the T code search underscore user underscore menu in this way just hit enter so that you can search for the function within your user menu okay so in this way you can search for the functions and next thing is that calling up functions how to call up functions in different ways just I will show you that just go back from here just using slash n this is actually command field okay it is called command field also ok field okay whatever command you enter here that will be executed when you click on this button okay and if you want to move between different functions like different tabs different uh, buttons you can use tab so if you hit tab you can go back go to each and every button like this okay and if you want to go to the field group then you need to control tab so this is group this is one group this is one group and this is one group like that okay control tab just observe and 
control plus slash that is control plus slash in your keyboard it will directly go to the ok field that is command field control plus slash from your keyboard and slash n to cancel the current transaction for suppose if you are in a transaction su01 you can cancel that particular transaction using slash n and if you want to open another transaction without disturbing exist one existing one you need to enter for suppose if you are in sc01 okay if you want to open another session with another t code that is pfcg just slash o pfcg okay hit enter so that that particular function will be opened in another session that is this is second session just see without disturbing existing one okay and if you want to see the overview of your present session just enter slash wo okay so that you can view the session information of your own screen that is user maintenance and role maintenance for suppose if you want to close this particular user maintenance session back one you can click on the end session so that that user maintenance function will be closed okay and if you want to come out from the sap screen that is sap gui screen log on session without a confirmation dialog box just put slash n e n d okay so now you got the confirmation okay with a confirmation box that is slash n e n d is used for with confirmation box okay so if you want to log out from the session using so let me log in first without confirmation box that is slash n e x slash n e x okay so it will come out without asking us to save the data okay in that way you can call up functions in different ways and last so accessing help using f1 help and f4 help okay just log on to the system using sap user and the password okay so first of all let me try with f1 help if i use f1 help ar that is with the command field okay i can press f1 from my keyboard okay just hit f1 so that i will get the help about that particular command field okay like this okay here also you will find all the details like slash n xxx xxx equal to transaction code and slash n star xxxx that is transaction code what it will do in the same session window where by the initial screen is skipped if you want to skip any initial screen of any function you can use this particular t code that is this is the command okay and if you want to open the transaction code in additional session that is slash o x x x x x x x is transaction code here okay so in this way you can learn from this help that is f1 help okay and not only that you can go on to any function that is se01 and if you want to have the help on this particular field you can press f1 from your keyboard so that you would you will get the help about this particular field that is user name in master record okay and next f4 help f4 help means it is possible options that is if you want to find out how many users are there in this particular system using f4 you can get the information or you can click on this button also it is called possible options button 
okay either you can click on this button or you can use f4 key from your keyboard f4 hit f4 same same functionality will come this is the screen from here you can enter the username here or without entering username you can directly click on continue that is start search so that it will be presented with all the users available in this particular system okay so in this way you can use f1 and f4 help functionality okay so next thing is that from the initial sap easy access screen there are some other functions called create role you can directly create role from this application toolbar by clicking on create role this is pfcg transaction if you want to check for the t code that is transaction code you can get this information from the status bar okay go back and what else are there and there is other menu you can click on this other menu to get the menu of others okay but you should have the authorizations to get that particular menu that is you need to enter the single role okay so i have created a role for the user ras just i am putting z star and click start set so that i can get that particular role okay so double click on it so that i can see the menu of that particular role this is the menu of that particular role okay again if i want to go back to the sap menu i can click on this sap menu okay and this system and help these two menu items will be there in each and every screen of your sap go screen okay some of the functions are available only in this particular menu only you can't access this information in any another way that is system status this is information about your system you have to access this information from your system menu only okay no other way you can access this information click on this component information so that you can find the component information from the screen so in this way you can navigate within the system very easily and you have to practice on this lot so that's all about the advanced navigation in sap gui system thanks for watching have a good day